There is no uniformly accepted idea of what a 21st century school is. So educational leaders and reformers are saying we need to personalize instruction. You know, we need to change how instruction happens. Think Big is a process that we came up with because we realized there was a need to reinvent the process of design. So the first step, empathy, is where we work to put ourselves in the shoes of the stakeholder, both the instructors and the students, trying to develop a much deeper understanding of what they're trying to do and what's required for them to be successful. Defining the solution is where, once we've developed this deeper understanding, now we are recording the aspirations, the objectives of what the successful solution will include. So the form follows function, so we really want to understand what are those functions. The third step is ideate, and that's where, um, you know, that's the typical step that people think architects do all the time, and that's where we imagine the range of possibilities. But what's different here is that it's students and teachers and stakeholders. It's not just architects. We're not just going back to our office and closing the doors and voila, here's your brilliant plan. This is using stakeholders as co-authors of a design. Then we prototype, which is really where the big difference comes from. We don't just make models, we actually construct prototype environments that students and teachers test. You know, teachers as designers, students as designers, community members as designers, they're involved in saying, these are the ideas that look like they have the greatest promise to create a wonderful educational environment. Nothing is as strong as actually having an environment that you can sit in, that you can use, you can see what it's like to interact with your colleagues, to team teach, all of those sorts of things. You can really test out what works, and that's what you do in the testing phase. If you really want to develop effective learning environments that are new, if you really want to navigate change, people have to be involved in that development. If you follow these five steps, you develop much more effective learning environments.